My name is Earl, as you all know. We're from the New Skanky Workshop, and um, we're here to uh, we're gonna do we're gonna do a Christmas special. Is what we're gonna do, you know, we're gonna spread the little Yule tie, I guess you might like to say. That's right. We're dedicated to you viewers out there to offer you the best, and that's why we're gonna teach you about safety because, right. as we all know. Safety is the key to life. Now, I was thinking, what did your mom say that one time about Christmas safety? She said, you can't have a good Christmas without Santa Claus and safety. But Santa Claus is busy right now, so we're just going to bring in the safety. That's right. And, you know, well, why don't we get on with that? All you know? right. What are All we right. going to cover today, Earl? Well, we're going to cover light safety because you don't want to get electrocuted and, you know, die or anything like right. that. And um, after that, we're going to cover uh, mistletoe safety. That's right. That's an important one. That's a very important one. Bad things can happen if you That's aren't right. safe around the mistletoe. And um, then we're going to have some... Uh, projects That's for right. the Christmas season. We're going to, let's see, that first project is going to be that, that card hanger. You, card know, hanger. You, you always get them Christmas cards around Christmas time, never know what to do with them. So we're going to make a card hanger and let's see, and we're going to make you a wreath. A wreath. That's right. And, and that's pretty much it. Okay. So let's get started. Well, the first project we're going to do is light safety. Because a lot of yens out there, you, uh, well, sometimes, you know, when it's not working right, you start gnawing on it. And uh, and you can really get electrocuted pretty darn bad when you do that. So uh, we want to stay away from that. You want to be sure not to gnaw on the watch. That's and, right. and another thing, don't lick the bulbs either. I mean, that's just as worse. Okay. So, you know, a lot of times you want to nail the lights to your house and everything. That's right. And, you know, since it's kind of cold outside, we at the new Skanky Workshop are going to stimulate that right here with a 2x4. So, Earl, you want to go ahead and show the viewers at home. All right. Now, you've all, you've all learned this from uh, the past episode about how to nail. Now, if you all remember, you just sort of set the nail, give it a few taps, and, um, then you just start whacking, you know. Man, Earl, I tell you what, you haven't lost a touch, you know. Well, I know I practice in my off season and everything. Yeah. You usually want to put two nails in there, so set the other one. Give it a few taps. Oh Whoop. man! Whoops! That there. looks like some good wood right this there. This is some good wood. Yeah. If you get it in there good, it shouldn't do that. Now, let's say this is your house. All right. Now, why don't you show us how to hang it up there, Andy? Well, basically, you want to start with the end that you're going to plug in and make sure you get that close to an outlet because, you know, you got to plug them in. Okay. So then you start and you just kind of leave them. You know, really, kind of learn this back in the Naval Academy. You know, just kind of weave them back and forth like that. And then you go on to the next nail. And it gets you a real nice look for your house for the holiday season. I mean, you know, you see somebody driving down the road and they're in their backhoe and, you know, they may not know that you live there, but you see their Christmas lights and you know, wow, they're really full of the spirit. That's right. My mom always said, lights are cool. So, I mean, I put lights on my house every year. Yep. Okay, so what are we going to do after we uh, do uh, putting them up on your house? Well, another thing people like to do is put them on the trees and shrubbery. So it just so happened I went out this morning and got us a little shrubbery. So All right. I'll go grab All that, right. and, and you can go ahead and talk to the viewers a little bit about, about the shrubberies. All right. Now, when you're looking for your shrubberies, you want to look for something that's green because that goes with the Christmas season you know red and green and stuff like that so when you're um, looking for shrubbery well well here we go right here 
This is a good one. See how it's got a little bit of green right there, a little bit of brown right here. It goes with the Christmas season, since red is sort of like brown and green as well, like green. So, Andy, why don't you show us how to put the lights on here? Well, remember, one important thing about picking your shrubbery is you don't want to get something too flimsy, because whenever the snow falls, you know, it's just going to get weighted down, and then it's going to go down into the ground, and you can't see your Christmas lights. So basically, well, you know, Earl, I did the last one. I, I really want you to do this one. So, man. there you go, man. Okay, well, once again, you want to start with your thing, your outlet here on the near the ground. And you just sort of want to bring it up through the tree so that it's not, so it goes with the contour of the tree. And then you just want to go out to the edge and just sort of put it on there like that. And it really adds to the holiday season if you, if you have proper lighting. So uh, that looks good to me. It does. I mean, you know, I could see that, that you enjoy a Christmas season, you know. You want to you wanna share it with everybody. That's right. You know, nothing says, you know, kindness like Christmas lights, really. That's right. And that's why I do it. Hi there. Well, another thing that we have to address in this episode is mistletoe safety. That's right. Now, the basics of mistletoe is pretty much just like hammering. I mean, you got to take your mistletoe and you find a doorway and you just take a, a, a that's a, well, that's a staple. Anyway, you just whack her on in That's there. right. That's right. Except for it's upside down, so you got to be careful. That's right. Um, it'll be up about here. And um, one thing you got to be really careful about is who you get caught under there with. All right? Now, if I'm under here, I don't want Andy under here with me. Because the rules are you got to kiss the person you're under there with. Now, a long time ago... My uncles, they got under a mistletoe together, and, well, they're married now. So, uh, we don't want that happening. That's just, that's just plain wrong. That's right. You know, and in fact, my mom doesn't say much because she's not too smart, but even she knows, well, that's not right. That's right. That's right. Maybe if they were brother and sister, but brother, brother? No, no, that's just not right. Nope. So you got to be careful whenever you're walking under the mistletoe. And, you know, that'll really help you have a good holiday season. That's right. Okay, now I know you all are thinking, I always get these Christmas cards around Christmas time, but what am I supposed to do with it? Like this one. You know, this one, it says Earl's Mama on the inside. And that was a sweet gesture and all, but you're left with a piece of paper that says Earl's Mama and Merry Christmas on it. That's right. So, what are we going to do about this, Andy? We're going to make a Christmas card hang. Man. So what you start off with is your standard clothes hanger, basically. And, and well, what you're going to want to do is you're going to untwist it. And just sort of like so, like this. There you go. And then you're going to want to take it and bend it out so it's a straight thing. Sort of like this. And what are you going to do from there, Andy? Well, basically, you just take your Christmas card, and you start her over here on the hook, and you push ever so slightly. And you just kind of run her on through, kind of like you're stringing fish. <laughs> That's right. And then you just go on to the next and one, right? You know. And this way you can display them for all to see. You know. And it really adds. You know, you've got the Christmas lights. You know, if you're lucky enough to have a shrubbery inside your house. That's right. You've got your Christmas shrubbery. And if you want, you know, you can reform the hanger and just kind of twist it back a little bit. Sort of like that. And pretty much it can hang just about anywhere. In your closet That's with right. your other clothes. Or, That's right. Or, and at the end of the season, if you want to store all your Christmas cards, you can put a little label on there. You know, it says, you know, the year 1995, oh, here's 97s, you know. 
Right. You index them, you right. know, just like a library almost. And you can even do inter indexing. You know, I can say, like, well, this one's from my wife, Little Miss Muppet. So I can put, like, maybe a W for wife or something. And then this one's from my mama. So I can put M for mama on there. Wow, Earl. I mean, you just never cease to amaze me. So then I can say, like, well, what was that card that my mama sent me in 97? Well, I can go to the 97 That's tab, right. go to the M's for mama, and then find mama in the 97 tab. There you go. And it's as simple as that, really. So, That's right. There's your card hanger. Boo. I love to play that game. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. So now for our next project. We're going to make you a wreath. And as you see here, we've got your standard tar car tire. This is a Michelin. That means it's good for wreaths. Well, what are you going to do first? Well, I figure first we'll start off with a nice base and, and start to wrap some Christmas lights around it. All right. We've got some Christmas lights here. And you're just going to want to go like this and wrap them around, spin, wrap, spin, wrap, well, we got an extra screen here, All so right. we'll go ahead and plug those in, and oh wow, these are the flashy kind, you huh? might not like those, and just spin, wrap, spin, there's basically only two steps to this, to this part, I think they're, Spin, wrap, yeah. I think that's what they are. Okie dokie. And now we've got her about decorated with the light. That looks pretty nice. Yeah. So, uh, what are you going to do after this? Well, no wreath is complete without a bow. That's right. So, Earl and I were thinking, well, what does the average handyman have around the home? And that's lots of shop racks. So, we ripped off about three of these things. And Earl, you are the best at making the shop. I'll, I'll hold that tape for you if you well, want. Well, it's all because of Mama. Yeah. What you're going to want to do is just sort of go around, just like tying your shoes, and go through. Well, up. You got a bow. Now, what you're going to want to do, you can put it on the top, you can put it on the bottom side, side. That's the nice thing you about wreaths. They're round. It doesn't really matter. I mean, you can turn it one way, and it's the same way, really, as the other way. That's right. And you're just going to want to put some tape on there. And just sort of tape it on there. Now, if that doesn't look nice, I don't know what does. No, that's little touches. You know, sometimes if you've got a coon tail, or just a part of a coon tail, if you just kind of wedge it on under there, underneath some of the Christmas lights. Give you a nice little flavor. Kind of brings out some of the colors of the tire, really. That's right. That looks really nice. I never did, never done thought of that. Well, you know, you got to be creative and all. Boy, you know, you are creative. Well, that looks pretty good to me. Looks good to me, too. Well, I think that was a pretty good show, Earl. I what think so, think? too. I think so, too. Yep. Okay, well, now that we've covered all the basics of safety and we've run through you through a couple projects, it's time to say farewell once again. You know, there's not much you can really say. That's right. It's Christmas season, and you never want to say bye or anything like that because you don't want to lose the friends you have or the viewers that you have. So uh, we're going to say farewell instead. That's right. And you got to remember during the Christmas season, you've got to share, and it's all about giving, really. So, you know, that's what we're about here at the New Skanky Workshop. That's right. My mama, she never said any buys or, or farewell. She always said something, I think, I'll be to then or something like that. I don't know. I think it's some southern talk or something like that. Wasn't your mama Irish? Uh, yeah, yeah, she was. It must be Irish. Oh, there you go. I'll beat his in or something. Uh, That's uh, probably what it is. So, what we're going to say is I'll beat his in. <laughs>